So here we are, welcome to another Budget Model Railways video and we're up in the loft again. But as you can see, a very different looking loft. So after a lot of heart searching, I realised the loft still is the only place I can run trains, big trains. Um, but I wasn't happy with what I got up here. It kind of evolved over the years. It, it wasn't really actually what I wanted. So I've gone back to simplicity, a bit like my shunting layouts. So what I'm going to have is a through country station with two lines. Good yard acceptable, uh, accessible from the down line. Um, round through there. And then we're going to have a little branch goes off there. And then the branch can go either way. Initially, I'm going to use, take the advice from Richard at Classic Rail. And I'm only going to scenic this bit, the station bit. Now it's going to be rather nice, it's going to have a raised hill and a bit of town through there. Uh, I've got a station building there which Doug built when he was nine, one of the first buildings we ever built and I've done that up thanks to Metcalf for sending me some spare roofing. So think a bit like the shunting layout I did recently, big road running up there over the bridge. So it'll be scenic from about there, round there. This will all be countryside to there where the branch goes off. At some point where I've been working will be a terminus shunting layout in there. So it runs from that through station down this branch into there, but that's in the future. What I've also got is a four road fiddle yard, two roads for each track, so I can alternate trains. So that'll be my fiddle yard, that won't be scenic. But as I say, the idea is to start very simply by just getting this area done. So I've got somewhere to see some trains run through and then round that edge. Now what I've done here, we had some furniture delivered. So I've got big sheets of corrugated card, cladding a bit of the roof and doing a bit of the edge of the back scene. This is some white hardboard from some shelf units we broke up. And that's simply uh, going to be, it's just been nailed into the masonry, but it gives me a neat edge. And then round here, I've got more cardboard. You know us and cardboard. Thick corrugated cardboard, just giving us a neat edge. So no more raised area, no more complexity, just two tracks running round. A bit of a goods yard so I can shunt if I want to. Um, nice country station through there, lots of scenery. Big, big village, I think, in the back there. Um, I've laid it on ballast mat, so I bought some Javis ballast mat. Um, I did have the old roofing felt down, but not everywhere, and it won't lift. So I splashed out a little bit and bought some Javis ballast mat, which, as you can see, look absolutely fabulous. From this sort of difference distance, there's just no difference. And this has taken me a week to rip out all the old ones. I managed to jab splinters in my fingernails and all sorts of things. So it's all been ripped out. Had to use a chisel to get the bottom bits off, that's PVA for you. But as you can see, now I've just got trains running around, which is what I've always wanted. Uh, so we're going to have a footbridge here. That's going to go to, that'll be a bay platform there. That'll be a bay to go down to the branch that goes off the other end. Uh, and as I say, and then a goods yard here, good shed, coal yard, that sort of thing. Just easy stuff to build. I've got buildings and scenery for most of it. So I'm not expecting this to take me too long to build. And obviously, one of our new double controllers doing absolute sterling service. I would point out, you do need to isolate the two tracks. So I've got isolators in there between the two points. But that's so that a down train can come this way to the branch and then the branch can come out and back up onto the up line. Uh, and obviously, it also means um, I can run down trains in and out of the bay if I want to. So there we go, it's all looking quite nice. Very happy with that. Um, track seems to be reliable, this is the first time I've run it, literally in the last 10 minutes. I get quite a nice view out my window, the sun's finally come out, stopped raining, haven't had the snow yet. And I'm looking forward actually to running my steam locos up here, I happen to have my diesels and my blue and grey coaches, um, but I'm as looking forward to running, I've got quite a nice fleet of steam, t steam tender locos now. And I'll just be able to build it and watch some trains go around. So there we go, big change to anybody that knows the old layout. I've lost count of how many versions this we're up to now, but I really think I can get this one done because I'm just keeping it simple um, and building what I'm used to building. Country stations, scenery, um, and I do think probably the terminus will be a town. Uh, probably with a raised area over the two back lines so that I'll get 
you can see the inroad here in amongst all the track where I've been working. Um, that'll be the station through here, bit of a town in front, bit of a town in the back, probably covering those two lines. So yeah, really pleased, really pleased and um, really great to just be able to watch some trains go around at last. So big trains, four or five coach trains. So I'll do a little bit of film of them. Um, thank you as always for watching. Uh, hope you're all staying safe and uh, we'll do you updates on this soon. Doesn't mean that I have forgotten the other layouts, they're still in progress, um, but I do like to flit around and do different things. So that's my weathered Hornby Class 25. I can slow that down a bit now actually because it's, um, it's really interesting how they, they do speed up once they've had a run. And that's my rather nice Lima Class 26. That really is a lovely loco, weighs a ton um, and runs really smoothly and quietly through the station there. And then I'll have a, a like a road bridge here to end that bit of scenery. And then comes here comes my weathered, just using a dry brush, my weathered class 25. Down through the station again. So there we go. Thank you as always for watching and uh, we'll speak to you again soon with some updates. Thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in the series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.